This is the photo AS 17148-227 for one, and it would have been taken by the astronauts of Apollo 17 around a day after the launch. On the close-up of this photo, we can clearly see Australia but, strangely we can see no other land. If we compare with the corresponding real view of the Earth, where are all the lands we can see on the real view? All hidden by clouds? We should at least see New Guinea, which has been circled on the real view. It can't be entirely hidden by clouds. We can see the blue of the sea where it should be. Another photo, AS 17148-22740, has been taken a little less than two hours before. If we compare it with the next photo, the comparison is not very easy because the camera has been turned between the two photos. The comparison is made easier if we turn the first photo so that the two are of the same orientation. We can see that Australia has moved right, which is normal because of the time lapse between the two photos, and the quantity of the move corresponds to the difference of time. But we can see that Australia has the same shape and orientation on the two photos. Yet on a real spinning earth, when Australia moves from left to right, its shape and orientation change. It means that these two photos are not realistic and cannot have been taken by Apollo 17 during its trip to the moon. One more proof that Apollo 17 never went to the moon.